everyone, welcome back to another episode of Caravan Diaries. In today's video, I am actually going to be reupholstering this couch, um, which also turns into a bed. I don't know what the technical term is, but we have the caravan where there's two couches and they turn into a, like, this is going to be like a king size bed, I think. Maybe bigger when it's all put together. But anyway, um, so this video actually spans over four weeks. I'd only had the opportunity to work on it weekends and I chose to only work on it one day of a weekend because I didn't want to like take over my life but I'm done now. I'm super happy with them. Um, I had some ups and downs during the process so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. It is a very long video so feel free to grab a drink, uh, some popcorn, whatever. You know how it is. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the video starting four weeks ago. <laughs> We have the caravan back, which means it's time to start working on it some more. So today I'm going to start the process of reupholstering slash sewing, I don't know what you want to call it, but basically recovering what is the two couches, also known as the bed. I have never done anything like this before, so this is not like a tutorial, it's just a video where you can follow me along trying to figure this out. Um, the closest thing I've done to this is probably make cushion covers and make curtains. Um, I don't know, but like I've never reupholstered. Like I'm talking there's things here with backings. There's like those buttons. I think they're called tufted buttons. Never done that. Don't know how I'm going to do that, but we're going to figure it out together. This is the second video in my Caravan Diary series. Super excited now that we have the caravan back, this will be much, much more regular. But I'm gonna go bring in the cushions and backings and stuff. They're all sitting in the hallway so you guys can see them and we can get started measuring. <laughs> So this is what they currently look like. They've been in the hallway for a couple of weeks, so just excuse that. So this is what the pattern is. It's like this maroni color with like a pattern in it. I don't know. It's definitely not our style, well my style anyway. So these are the two like bases, the two big cushions. I feel like these are definitely gonna be like the easiest bit to sew. And then we've got the two backings which go underneath each window. So they are faded, um, but keep in mind these have been in there for like 10 or 20 years probably. And then we've got these pieces which are like the sides. Um, that one is like a lot shorter than these two and I can't remember why. Well these three. And I can't remember why. I wrote on the back of them. So this one goes on the side where the wardrobe is. I'm gonna have to like try and measure all these and as you can see there's like tufted buttons all the way through which looks really nice but I've never done it. And the backings to all of these is just like wood and stuff so they're like stapled in. I don't have a staple gun thing, so maybe I'm gonna have to buy one or borrow one off someone, but this is what it all looks like. I'm gonna start measuring and see how many meters of material I need. With these ones, I'm just gonna do one of the big ones because obviously you'd rather overestimate the amount of material you need than underestimate. And also I'm just um, going like under, I'm measuring from the under material and then going all the way across. So that's like my super neat um, measurements. Now I have to do some math which I suck at and figure out how much material I actually need before I head to Spotlight, otherwise I'll look like an absolute idiot. Because I'm a bit worried of buying material, not having enough, going back and then not being able to find the same one. Um, so I definitely want to make sure I get this right the first time so that when I go to Spotlight, I get the right amount of material. Okay, so I think I need 11 and a half to 12 meters length and I need it to be two meters wide. Please ignore my appearance. I just had a shower so my hair is soaking wet and I just look really weird. But this is a roll of fabric. This is 12 meters. It cost me $150-ish. 
um, but it's exactly what I wanted. It's like a soft, dark gray. It's called like a pattern velvet, I think, but I got it specifically as the fabric that doesn't matter which way you put it. Like there's no pattern, there's no grain, there's nothing. So I have 12 meters. Unfortunately, it's not the like width I needed. They, all the upholstery fabrics that I liked only came in like 1.45 and that's way too short but I am going to work with it. But anyway, today is a Saturday and I'm going to see how far through this I can get. Brett has just gone to buttons to buy me like a staple thing um, and a bit of string for the tufted buttons. And I'm going to get started with removing the old fabric. So this is what one of the backs of the pieces looks like. You can see it's got the staples all the way in there and then that's the string for the tufted buttons. So Brett and I just trialed a couple of different ways and we figured that the best way that we can do this. So what we've ended up doing is... We've kind of like, you get the pliers just under the fabric and pull it up like, like, not quickly, like slowly. And that kind of like brings up the staple and then you just can pull it out. So that is what I'm going to be spending my morning doing. It's going to be really boring, so I'm not going to film too much of it, but I just thought I'd show you how we're doing it. <laughs> hours later now we just spent like two to three hours unstapling the backs of these and honestly there's still some staples in there that we can get out and we're just like calling it even I'm gonna take the fabrics off the back of these and like use them to make templates out of the new fabric and then so these parts are gonna be the easiest parts to do uh, whereas the bases and I've now figured out the long backings need some kind of sewing so that's gonna be a little bit trickier so I'm going to do these first. I have a staple gun, um, figured out what length staples we need. So I'm going to get started making the templates and doing what I can. And hopefully I don't fuck this up. finished without the tufted buttons which honestly do I need them I don't know I'm gonna do them all because there's like holes on the back for where the tufted buttons go so if I need to so I do want them later on they're no pain to add but this was a lot easier than I expected so I'm gonna keep going with the rest of the four and then I'm gonna move on to the harder one I'm actually really pleased with this I can't believe I just did that it's a lot easier to put staples in than it is to take staples out let me tell you so it's just gone 1.30 and I have just finished covering all of the small sides. Um, I think I already mentioned it, but I haven't done the tufted buttons. I'm going to do everything and then see. Like, so I've done those and I don't think they need the tufted buttons, but I'm going to do these big long ones. And if they look like they need the tufted ones, then I will do it because the foam is kind of like indented where they were. But I really don't want to do these because I didn't realize... But it's actually, I don't know if you can see this. It's actually like sewn on the end there, like that bit. And then this like sits on there. So I have to try and figure out how, I have to try and like cut the material to like be able to do that. And then I have to do that. And I don't want to because I'm lazy and I just want lunch. <laughs> It is now a week later and hopefully this is going to be the final day of reupholstering these cushions. Um, I, this morning I finished up the long side pieces. I did, I finished the other one last weekend, 
but I just ran out of energy, I suppose. So I'm going to show you what they, the finished one looks like, the one that I finished this morning, and then we're going to get started on the two cushions. Okay, so excuse all the dog hair on it, but this is what it turned out like. I am so impressed with myself. This is the second one, so it ended up being actually better than the first one, obviously because I'm learning what I'm doing, and I absolutely love it. I think they're going to look really, really, really good. But anyway, so that's that done, and now today's project is the two base cushions, the bit I'm most nervous about, I thought this was going to be the easiest at the start, but now I'm honestly freaking out. So I am going to bring in the material, clean the space and get started with measuring and figuring out what I'm going to do. I am going to try to reuse the zips that is in there because I couldn't find a zip that was this long without doing like a special order and it saves me more money anyway. So I am going to get started. Okay, so this is where I knew it would get tricky because I couldn't get the width I wanted. There's gonna be, there's just like this gap. And I think, so whoever originally did it, um, there was like this extra bit of material which was on the bottom, but if it's on the top, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this, but it's just a pain in the arse, you know what I mean? So um, if I had the width I needed, I wouldn't have had to do that, but because Spotlight does not wanna cater for me, I have to deal with this situation, so. At the moment, I'm just kind of trying to use my brain and figure out what I'm going to do. But um, I've got the length I need, and then I'm gonna next. I'm gonna cut out these side pieces because they're easy. It's just this bit right here that is doing my head in. Right now is when I'm starting to panic that we don't have enough material. So basically I've cut one end piece from a scrap that I had and from the scraps I had that is the only end piece I could cut. So I need this roll to have one more of these, three more of these and then two extra long strips. I'm definitely not going to have enough. So. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do before I start sewing anything, I'm just gonna roll it out, cut another one of those, see if I can get the long strips, see what I can do. I'm honestly freaking out, so there may be a trip to Spotlight today, but I'm just gonna start cutting all of that so I have all the stuff I need, and then hopefully everything works out in the end. <laughs> Okay, so I've cut out all the pieces I need and I obviously way overestimated the amount of fabric I needed. I have no idea how I did that, but we've got like heaps left on a roll and a little bit I'll probably use to make a dog bed, so I'll see if I can sell that. But these, this is the random big long piece I need. <laughs> Go fuck off. <laughs> Don't just stand there and listen to me, you freak. Um, they're the two little end pieces and that is the big part of it. So I'm going to pin all these together, sew them all together and then figure out the zip. Oh my god. Oh my oh I have to completely unstitch this now. Oh my god. Okay, so after that fuck up, I have now, I unstitched it and then repinned it the right way and I've sewn the whole length, so I fixed that. Can't believe I did that. I just don't think I was paying attention. But anyway, now I'm going to attempt to pin on the ends, sew those on, and then all that's left to do with this one, once I do that, is the zip. So I'm going to do that and see how I go. Okay, so it's like two o'clock um, and this is what I've just done. I didn't film any of it because I forgot, but I've sewed a complete like edge and I am, am kind of like going, I'm trying to decide, do I want to do the zip or do I just want to make it really easy on myself and do Velcro? Because there is a lot more fabric than I thought there would be and Velcro would make my life so much easier, but the zip would look so much nicer. So I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what I want but so far, so good, so, so good. Um, this is the back side because there's the extra seam, but yeah, now I've just got to sew that end. And then I think I'm gonna 
leave this and I'll do the other one and then I'm gonna this will be the final decision and the final thing I have to do so I'm gonna leave that until I figured out what I want to do in the meantime I'm gonna sew the end of this and then repeat the process for the other one okay so I'm just sewing up the last end and I don't think I've shown much of it um it's really it's getting like it's I think it's past four o'clock in the afternoon now um but I just thought I'd show you this is how I've been doing it kind of like Obviously it has to be kind of like 3D, so it gets really tricky, but I figured out a method. This is the last end and then hopefully it fits on there because the last one had a bit of slack and I had to kind of fix that. Please excuse this really bad lighting, but it's 4.30 in the afternoon and I have finished them, sort of. They both fit. I've just got these flappy bits here to secure somehow, but I'm gonna deal with that next weekend. But I am so proud of myself. Like, I honestly didn't think I could do this. I mean, I've still got like, probably like the hardest part left, but oh God, it feels good. It feels good knowing that I've done that and I've got the last tiny bit left to do. And then these are done. So I am going to end up today here. I'll see you guys when I'm tackling the zips or the Velcro. I still don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> This is officially, officially going to be the last day of sewing these things together. Um, so I've spent the week kind of deciding how I was going to do it, whether I was going to do the zipper or not. And last night I started to unpick it and then I pretty much was like, hell no, am I doing this? Because it got to the ends and it just didn't, I couldn't get it out nicely. And you know what? I was just like, I'm not going to mess with this. So, I just got back from Spotlight and I bought a 5 metre length thing of Velcro. This is heavy duty Velcro for like sewing and stuff. I have just decided that's what I'm going to do. Now become a much, much simpler process. I know how to work with Velcro, done it before, so I'm not stressed at all. Um, but I am going to get started and then in about like, you know, two hours or so, we should have some finished couches. And I'm so excited for this process to be over. I just kind of linked the rough and the fluffy side of the Velcro together so that it's going to make it easier to cut. So what I'm going to do now is measure it against the things over there, cut them to length and then start pinning and then sewing. Okay, so I have done the scratchy side of the Velcro on that bit and then I'm going to turn this into the flap. That's up like that and then this will cover it but this is going to have like a nicer edge. Go over like that. This is a really bad explanation. But I think you get what I'm trying to say. So I am going to figure out how I'm going to do that now. Figure out the measurements, pin it, take it off, sew it, and then this one will be done. And then I'll do the exact same on the other one. And then I'm actually, I'm done. I'm done. But not yet. So I'm going to keep going. I'm so happy. cushions are in they're done I am so happy with them I'm so proud of myself they look amazing I just can't believe I've done this to be honest and I, I'm gonna stop going on about it after this video but I just can't believe I did this they look so good like so good so um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you want to see more videos from the caravan diaries I'll link the playlist down below subscribe for more videos like this as well as like vlogs and everything like that follow me on Instagram at Beckeldrip and I will see you guys in the next one.